Shalom. This is Bishop Nathaniel of Israel United in Christ. I want to start off by saying thank you to all of our Booster Club members for your many donations and much more your prayers. We visited faraway countries and strange lands. We've even spoken to dignitaries and were detained for spreading the glorious gospel in Cuba. The truth is that the descendants of the 12 tribes of Israel were scattered throughout the world. Help us on our journey as we continue to raise up the nation of Israel. 12 tribes worldwide. Join or donate today. Shalom. The book of Romans, chapter 13, verse 11. And that, knowing the time, that now it is high time to awake out of sleep. So we must awake out of sleep, people. We must, my brothers and my sisters that can hear me, you must wake up out of sleep. America is a nightmare. You are, you are in a dream right now. You are asleep to who you are. You are asleep to your culture, to your understanding, to your God, to your people, to your ways, to your homeland. You are asleep. You must wake up out of this place, Acts 319. You must wake up out of this place. You must repent and come back to the law, statutes, and commandments of our God. Read Acts 319. We must come out of this sleep. We must wake up to who we are, according to the Bible. That's what we are here for. We are here to wake our people up, cause you to understand. Matter of fact, you mean me and my 8 and 8 first. We are here to bring you the truth of the Bible, to cause you to understand the scriptures, to cause you to understand what it's telling you. Wake them up. That your pastor in these churches are not telling you. Wake them up. Nehemiah 8 and 8. Bring that up. The book of Nehemiah, chapter 8, verse 8. Bring it up. So they read in the book of the law of God to speak. So that's what we're doing. We are reading out of the book of the law of God. And we are reading it distinctly, line upon line, precept upon precept. Read it again. Nehemiah, chapter 8, verse 8. Read. So they read in the book of the law of God to stick free and gave the sense. And we, we're here to give our people the sense. Because for far too long, your Christianity churches have not caused you to have the sense of the Bible. Right. Right. They read you a, a verse here and a verse there, give you a lullaby, a song on the dance, pass around the place, send you back home, still confused, still having no idea who you are in the Bible. The gentleman the officer was talking to earlier, 60 something years on the earth, never known that the Bible was talking about him. Right, right. Never knowing that the Bible is talking about him, probably been in church all his life. Right, right. Probably been dealing with the Bible in some way, fashion, or form all his life and don't know who he is in the Bible. We're here to bring you the call you understand, to give you the sense. Read Nehemiah 8 and 8 again. The book of Nehemiah, chapter 8, verse 8. So they read in the book of the law of God to speak, read, and gave the sense. And gave the sense, read and cause them to understand the reason. So that's what we are here to do. We are here to cause you to understand. Cause you to understand what you must do to change. Right. Cause, to cause you to understand what you must do to repent, Acts 19. To show you what you must do to repent. Turn your life back toward God. Right. Walk in his statutes and his commandments, read. Right. The book of Acts, chapter three, verse 19. Bring it out. Repent ye therefore. So the Bible says to repent. Our people must repent, return to God, read. And be converted. And be converted. Convert to what? To God's laws. To convert to what? To change into what? To what thus saith the Lord. Read it again. The book of Acts, chapter 3, verse 19. Repent, ye therefore. Repent. So if you're a drug dealer, repent. Change from that. If you're a whore mother, repent. Change from that. If you're a prostitute, repent. Change from that. Read. And be converted. And be converted. Be changed. So how do we, how do we change? How do we change songs like this? How do we change? How do we convert ourselves? If the Bible says to repent and can be converted, so how do we convert? Let's show you how according to the Bible. The book of Psalms, chapter 19, verse 7. Bring it up. The law of the Lord is perfect. God's laws are perfect. Right. Just sits in a gold dress. Read. Converting the soul. Converting the soul, the Bible says. Read. The testimony of the Lord is sure. The testimony of God is sure. It's not going to fail us. Right. What this Bible says will come to pass. Right. It has it already. Read it again from the top. 
The book of Psalms, chapter 19, verse 7. Read, bring it out. The law of the Lord is perfect. The law of God is perfect. Thou shalt not kill a perfect law. That's a perfect law. Right. Love your neighbor as yourself is a perfect law. Right, right. Read. Converting the soul. Read. The testimony of the Lord is short. Read. Making wise the simple. And that's what we're trying to get our people to understand and to do. Because the laws of God turn from being simple into wise. We all were simple up here until we start applying the commandments of God to our life. Right. Now we can see clearly. Now we are wise to the things that's going on around us. Because the Lord laws has shown us the way. That's what our people must come back to and understand. Who we are according to the Bible, what we must do and change. Matter of fact, let's get that. Give me, give me uh, 1 Kings 8. Showing you the process to repentance. Because that's what we are here to teach. Our people to repent, to turn back to God, to change their ways. Because the ways you go on, that you have are crooked. They're not straight. Read. The book of 1 Kings, chapter 8, verse 46. If they sin against thee. So our people have sinned against God. We up here, we have all sinned against God at one point in our life. Right. Read. For there is no man that sinneth not. There is no man that has not sinned according to God. Read. And thou be angry with them. Read. And deliver them to the enemy. Now, that happened to only our people. The Lord was angry at us and we were delivered to our enemies. In shadow slavery. Right. But do not know as the translated slave trade. The sub-Saharian slave trade. We were delivered to the enemy for the Lord being angry with us for sinning against him. Read. And deliver them to the enemy. So that's what happened. That's how we got to America. That's how we got to the islands. That's how we got to South America. How we got to all parts of the earth. Read. So that they carried them away captive. We were carried captive. Read. Unto the land of the enemy. Read. Far or near. Far or near. Read. Yet, if they shall bethink themselves. So the law says, if you bethink yourselves. So, Israel United in Christ, we are here to help you do that. We are here to show you how to do that. To bethink yourselves. We are here to call you to bethink yourselves. Read. In the land whither themselves, in the land whither they were carried captive. In the land where we were carried captive. That means here. In the land of your captivity, you must bethink yourself. You must remember who you are. That's right. Not who you are in your own mind, your own vain opinion. Not who you are according to society, but who you are according to God. That's what right. God calls you. Read and repent. And repent. The whole time I'm up here, so I'm going to keep bringing out. We must repent. We must repent. We must change. We must turn back to law, to God's laws, statutes, and commandments. Right. Read right. and make supplication. And make supplication, read, unto thee in the land of them that carried them captive. Read. Say it. We have sinned. That's what we must say. The pride that's on our people must come off our people. Right. You must go to God and repent and say, that's I have sinned. Right. I have committed all kinds of wickedness, Lord. Read. And have done perversion and done perverseness. That's all we learn in this society is perverseness. That's all the society push is perverseness. On TV, on the radio, in your school systems, perverseness. Read. We have committed wickedness. And so return unto thee with all their heart. So that's what we are here trying to push our people to do. Trying to compel our people to do. To return to the Lord. That's your only option. That's your only way out this mess. That's the only way out this oppression. Right. It's to turn back to God. Read. And with all their soul. Read. In the land of their enemy. Read. Which led them away captive. And pray unto the and pray unto thee toward their land. So when you do that, then you pray unto the Lord towards your land. You turn to Jerusalem. That's our homeland. The captain brought it out earlier. That's our homeland. Right. America ain't our homeland. Right. The islands ain't our homeland. Right. Jerusalem is our homeland. Turn towards the east. Turn towards your Jerusalem, wherever you may be. Turn towards Jerusalem and send up prayers to, to the Father in repentance. Read. Which thou gavest unto their fathers. The city which thou hast chosen. So that's what we are here to show our people to do. That's the steps. Because right now in your sin, uh, give me John 19. Right now in your sin, God ain't hearing you. And our people don't understand that. Because they've been taught wrong. They've been misled. They think God hears them in, in, in all, in every matter of sin they're in. That they can come to God however they choose. That they can come as you are. And God's going to hear them. Read that. Three nights. 
John chapter 9, verse 31. Yeah, John 9, 31. Read. Now we know that God heareth not sinners. Do you hear the Bible read again? Now we know that God heareth not sinners. God don't hear sinners. Right, right. Our people are in the midst of sin, right. and your wicked pastors won't tell you that. Right. They won't tell you you are in the midst of sin. Because they don't love you. They have hatred for you. Right. To not warn you to get you out of your sin is hatred towards you. Read it again. Now we know that God here is not sinners. So you can't be heard by God in your sin. That's why we out here to tell you what your sins are, that you may come out of them. Right. That you may repent of them. Right. Change your ways. Read. But if any man be a worshiper of God and doeth his will, and do God's wills, give me, give me the will, Psalms 40 and 8, and do the will of God, let's find out what the will of God is. Because our people don't know this Bible. Right. They haven't been taught it. That's right. They've been taught a song and a dance and a lullaby. Right. That's what they've been taught in these churches. That's what they've been taught in this society. Read the book of Psalms, chapter 40, verse 8. Read. I delight to do thy will, to do God's will. Read, oh my God. Yea, thy law is within my heart. Oh, what's God's will? Thy law is within my heart. So we're here to bring you the laws of God. We, go back, we are here to bring you the laws of God. We are here to show you what you must do. We are here to show you what God's laws and commandments are. Read. But if any man be a worshiper of God, read, and doeth his will, do God's commandments, do God's law, read, him, he hear it. Then God will hear you. Then God will hear you. But until you do that, everything that you set up to God is in vain. Every prayer that you bring out to God is in vain. Every time you, oh Lord, why they shooting us down? Oh Lord, no justice, no peace. We march in the street. That's all in vain. God ain't hearing that. Because you in sin. Black Lives Matter, protesting. That stuff is in sin. It's engulfed in sin. God ain't hearing our prayers when we in the midst of sin. John 8.32. Our people don't understand what they must do. They have the wrong understanding. They have the wrong idea how they're supposed to reach God, how they're supposed to get to God, and how God going to hear them read. The book of John, chapter 8, verse 32. And ye shall know the truth. So we are here to bring you the truth according to the Bible, not according to us. Read. And the truth shall make you free. That's, that's how freedom comes to our people. That's how we get freedom. Not marching, not politics, not voting. That's not how we get freedom. Read John 832 again. Bring it out. The book of John, chapter 8, verse 32. Bring it out. And ye shall know the truth. And the truth shall make you free. And the truth shall make you free, which is God's commandments. And if you don't believe me, we're going to read that out of the Bible. Psalms 119, 142. We're going to show you what the truth is. If you don't believe me, we're going to show you the say of the Lord God. Read. The book of Psalms, chapter 119, verse 142. Read. Thy righteousness is an everlasting righteousness. Read. And thy law is the truth. See how everything keeps going back to God's laws? Read. Because that's the problem. That's the, that's the situation that we're in. Deuteronomy 28, 15. That's the problem. We are not keeping God's laws, statutes, and commandments. That's the problem. But our people don't want to deal with that. They want to go around the bush and go try to find every other way to get back to some salvation, to get some justice. But it's God's laws that's the way. And we don't want to deal with that. Read. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28, verse 15. Bring it out. But it shall come to pass that thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God. So God is telling you plainly, if you don't obey my commandments, if you don't do what I order you to do, read, to observe, and to do all his commandments. To observe and to do them. Right. To do them. Right. Read, and his statutes, read. which I command thee this day, read. that all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. That's the problem. That's where we are. That's the solution, I mean, that's the situation we find ourselves in. We broke God's commandments and thus these curses are upon us. Thus these evil things are upon our people, in our neighborhoods, in our communities. 
This is the problem. So, what's the solution? If we break God's commandments, he curses us. Read on in that. Cursed. So they will be in the city. So God says you're going to be cursed in the city. Look around. Look around. Take the, the, take the blinders off your face and look around. We are cursed in the city. Every city you find our people in, we curse. You ain't going to go to no city where we prosper. I don't care where you go on the earth. Read it again. Verse 16. Cursed shall they be in the city. We are cursed in the city. That is on our people because we won't obey God. We are only cursed in the city because we won't do God's commandments. We don't. And cursed shall they be in the field. We was cursed in the field and what we know is chattel slavery. We was cursed in the field. 46. We was cursed in the field. Pick your cotton, salt the sundown. Tobacco, sugar cane. No pay for your labor. Two years old. Nine years old, 16 years old, 30 years old, 60 years old. All day, all night, Bring it up. serving. That's cursed in the field. That only apply to our people. Right. But we in that condition, or we were in that condition, or we in that condition now in our job fields. Right? right? We in our job fields now, and we curse. Never can make enough. Never can work enough hours to make enough money to be comfortable in this place. Read. Verse 46, and they shall be upon thee. So God says the curse that upon you, I'm also going to use them for what? For a sign. For a sign. The curses of your conditions or your lower state is a sign to show you who you are according to God. That's right. But like I read in Romans, you are asleep to that. You don't understand that. Read it again. And they shall be upon thee for a sign and for a wonder. Read and upon thy seed forever, generation upon generation. Your seed is your children. God's curses are gonna be on you forever. Even upon your children, even upon your seed. Read. Because they'll serve us, not the Lord thy God, because we don't serve God, because we don't keep his commands. Because our people got a problem obeying what God says to do. We got our own vain opinions we like to follow. We like to follow the other nations and their ways Read. with joyfulness and with gladness of heart Read. for the abundance of all things for all things God gave us the entire earth therefore thou shalt serve thine enemies Read. which the Lord shall sin against thee Read. in hunger in hunger Read. and in thirst in thirst anytime you want water you gotta go to your enemy for that you gotta go to somebody who hates you for that Read. And in nakedness, and in want of all things. God says that in want of all things, anything you could possibly think of, anything that you possibly need, the Lord says you got to go to your enemies to get it. You got to go to your to people that hate your guts to get all things that you need. Read on. And he shall put a yoke of iron upon thy neck. And he put a yoke of iron on your neck to show you how much he hates you. That's what that is. That's hatred against you. He put a yoke of iron on your neck and God says these things will identify you in the last days. These things will show you who you are. But you won't be able to see them if you don't wake up. Right, right. If you don't wake up out your sleep, go back to Romans 13 11. If you don't do this, you won't ever see this. We here, that's what we are here. We are here to show you. We are here to make you see. Read. Wake the book of Romans, chapter 13, verse 11. Read. And that... Knowing the time. And that knowing the time, we are in the time right now. Right. Look at what's going on around you. Look at the conditions. Look at the signs. We are in the time right now. That's we. Right. That now it is high time to awake out of sleep. It is high time to wake up. So-called black man, so-called Hispanic man. Wake up. Right. Wake up to who you are. Wake up to who God calls you. We. For now is our salvation nearer than when we believe. Because Jesus the Christ is on the way. Right. Yes, right. He's on the way. Yes, right. We gotta stop playing around. God, Christ is on the way. Read that part again. And that, knowing the time, that now is high time to awake out of sleep. For now is our salvation nearer than when we believe. Our salvation is on the way. Brothers and sisters, we out here to convince you, to show you who you are, to show you that you must change, because time is short. 
Christ is on the way, your salvation is on the way, but you're only going to be saved when you obey God's commands. Christ ain't coming to save disobedient people. That's not happening. He's not coming to save people who think they're African Americans, who think they're Jamaicans, who think they're Puerto Ricans. He's coming for the 12 tribes of the nation of Israel. That's who you are, that's who you be. Thus saith the Lord God. We used to scream black power while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold. From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how our men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.